E Spoken Videos here, bringing you a domination game on Convoy, which is off one of the map packs. I honestly have no idea what map pack. Probably Ascension or Call of the Dead, but definitely an earlier map pack. And this game, I'm using the MP5 because I just pre just prestiged, <laughs> and I hate prestiging like the few uh, first levels. But it is a lot better when you prestige because you get to like level up again. When you're stuck on like the last level and you basically can't get any more experience, it's kind of annoying. And I know you you yeah, always tell me that annoying. it's just. That's like half the fun of playing like these online games is leveling up and getting experience and you can't really do that when you're just sitting at the highest level. So Yeah, uh, I remember, I, right now I'm at the highest, well, highest level that I want to go and I would rather not prestige. But every time I'll play like a, a round, but I'll get all this XP but then it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Because I can't use it. Now talking about uh, prestiging, I, I don't know if it's true but I remember uh, reading something about Monarch for 3 of how they're going to have a prestige shop. Where, Modern Warfare 3! <laughs> where you can, I, I don't know how it works, maybe like each time you prestige you get to choose something and one of them I'm looking forward to is uh, double XP. So is that permanently? I don't like, know. The whole I, I, that's, all I saw was like an image and people I, talking Honestly, if it says that you prestige and it actually says you can get double XP, I don't know why it would be like just for one yeah. game. That seems like... Here, you did all this work to prestige, here's one game of double And another thing I'm looking for is reset your stats. Like, yeah, that's, like, everything. let's say your first prestige was really bad. You, yeah, your KD you or whatever, your and you just reset it. Apparently you can do that. Yeah, so apparently. that'll, that'll be really, looking forward to that. Now I'm hoping that isn't a lie, because, <laughs> so. I don't know why they would. Yeah. They don't usually lie about that stuff. And they showed an in-game screenshot. So. Oh, did they? Okay. Yes. Well, if they show that, <laughs> then I'm sure it's legit. But you never know, they might take it out in the last second. Yeah. Because it was uh, at the, I think, um, what is it, the COD XP? Okay. Yeah. Which is COD XP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, what is that exactly? It was... that's really sad that I'm asking that, but honestly, <laughs> I have no idea what it, it was is exactly. I guess, I, I don't know what to explain it as. It, it, um... <laughs> Do they basically... It basically just what like show. I want to say an COD. expo, but it's not an expo. It's like it's the thing where they they release the or let you know, players play. So they just like give them like a taste basically of the new game. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. And then that was where they had uh, the real life version of Scrapyard as a paintball. Oh really? Yeah, from Arthur Two. Like an actual real paintball. Course? Yeah. That yeah. that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it was awesome. And then they had uh, tournaments. Okay. And then I think some is now where they had like all like the main million commentary. Dollars. Commentators, yeah. okay, or clans, whatever, yeah. whatever it is. But speaking of Modern Warfare Three, and obviously its biggest competitor, Battlefield Three, and which one would you say is better out of everything? If you didn't have an opinion, if you could basically say like what you think more people would buy based well, on uh, based on sales uh, or like based recent, on sales. Like, sorry, not recent. Uh, Previous games, I'd say, called the. But now that Battlefield has upgraded their engine, like, like um, massive, like I've, I've seen the yeah, previews and the graphics are just, I, I, they won't get any better, yeah. like usually, they unless just, like a new console came out or something, yeah. like a new game system. But yeah, ba Battlefield is. I'm probably not gonna buy it because I'm COD biased person, <laughs> but. I'll I'll probably buy it if after I get. I might rent it just to you know try it out, but Call of Duty is just again Call of Duty. Yeah. That's why yeah, that's, that's why our all, all our commentaries are mainly on Call playing Duty. Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. But if you guys haven't this take this commentary to more of a serious note, just to give our like greatest regards or whatever. Uh, last week, one of the most basically technological people passed away and that was Steve Jobs. Yeah. If you don't know who he is, he's basically the creator of Apple. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he, he, yeah, really, he just, really brought technology forward. Yeah. Like the iPod and all that stuff wouldn't exactly. be there without Steve Jobs. And we just want to, you know, say we really sorry about his loss. <laughs> and on a serious note, like it's kind of hard to just bring that up and start talking about it. But we are we're gratefully sorry for his loss to his family and everything but yeah just 
to say a little thing about Steve Jobs. And basically, right now, I honestly have no idea because I haven't been paying, atten no. paying attention to the gameplay, but it was one of those games where I really don't like using the MP5. It was alright in Modern Warfare 2, but I'd much rather use the MP5 over the M16 for the yes, default yes. classes because I just don't really no, like they the really like screwed over the M16 in this game. Yeah. Modern for 2 is Modern awesome. Modern 2 is it just amazing. But that's why you got it at such a And that's probably level. because Stop and Fire and FMJ really yeah. helped in Black Ops, they don't have any of that. And it was just one of those games where it just, the MP5 seemed to work. I just, I don't think it worked at all after that, but I got one good game and heck, you know, might as well post it. Mm -hmm. And I actually, that's like the second time I picked up that Galil Suppressor, which. Chain gun? <laughs> I, oh, wow. I haven't really been watching. I usually, if I start out Prestige, and that's another reason why Prestige isn't that bad. Like you may think, oh, I lose all my guns or whatever, but you use a, def a default gun. You kill one guy and you can just pick up his gun. And which, hope to God that he's actually higher level. Than <laughs> which hopefully he'll actually have, you know, a good gun. And most cases it is. So overall, Prestige isn't really that bad of an idea. If you're ever stuck on level 50 or whatever COD or whatever game you are, just don't be afraid to prestige. Well, I am afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm I don't want to prestige now that, because yeah. Modern for 3 is so close and I already prestiged in Modern for 2 and I was, I was an idiot. Yeah, yeah Modern for 2, that was like level 70 choice. is just, that's too much. Level now, apparently is, they're, in Modern for 3 is going to be level 80. I know. I've heard no, that. No, I don't. Level that, that's a big thing. Like, if that's true, that's, gonna that's where double XP. If, yeah, yeah if, since they have the double XP, I can see why they put it to level 80. Because most people on their first prestige are going to choose double XP. Yeah, and all the people. Yeah, I don't think it'll take that long for the first prestige. Because I can already just see the more people that play lots of video games, they will just prestige in the first, like, week or two. Exactly. Like I did, because when Black Ops came out, I was so hyped up for it, I and I, <laughs> I played, like, a nerd for the first. I couldn't get off Black Ops. No. It was just so much fun, and... I remember it's, us, it's, too. We, we, like, the yeah. whole weekend. I think it came out, like, right before a weekend, and that whole weekend... Yeah, that was, that was the one week. It was... It's fun to just play a new game. Like, it's brand new stuff, and it's just... Lot really enjoyable, and I probably I'll be the same for Modern Warfare 3 because brand new game, brand new maps, and everything. And I like to discover what's new, and yeah, exactly. what's, what's in it because nowadays Black Ops, like, oh, oh, that's over there, okay, I know where that is. Yeah, you basically know it's getting to the point where it's still enjoyable to play, but you don't, you kind of know everything, you just go over the same basic, <laughs> basic things every time you play the game, you exactly. just hope to get a good game, really. Where Modern Warfare 3, there'd be new kill streaks, new perks, new everything to use, and that's why the first week is, after that first week you pretty much tried everything, that's when you start to slow down and get used to it, but... Exactly. Now, the, the kill streak juggernaut. Juggernaut. Yeah. That's I have mixed I have mixed feelings for that. Mixed, yeah. Because I was looking at some gameplay and apparently, like, you get a ride share, right, which is nice, and you also get this awesome suit, which you pretty much have, like, tons of armor. Sorry, health. But... Now, do you, I don't know if you get to use a gun or anything like that. I know, because... Because the ride shield, it took two hits to kill someone. Two hits. You just use the ride shield. Yeah, for two, if you hit them with it, yeah, two hits. Well, we'll find out. The game comes out in a few weeks, and we'll like three hopefully... Weeks, yeah. Something like that. But it'll be hard to get Juggernaut, too, because how many kills is it? Like, 18. 18. I think. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. That's now I like, think kill streaks count. Now I think kill streaks count. Kill streaks count towards other kill streaks. Okay. Black Ops, it wasn't that. <laughs> a lot much. of me is. I'm just saying. I think because yeah. <laughs> Black Ops wasn't so much a big concern because the highest kill streak was 11. 11. And that's 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 reasonable. To reasonable. Think. And that wraps up our game. I think I went 42 and two. Uh, actually, 42 and four. And here is our bonus, bonus clip. clip, and is basically on hotel. And I saw that guy, and I kept trying to kill him. And we were both <laughs> running back and forth, and I got so annoyed by him. I just finally decided, you know, screw it, I'm charging. And he got the better of me. And that's it. That is the bonus clip of the week. Here's. Bird, views bird's eye view, just so you can see. It's not bird's eye view. It, it's it's <laughs> above. It's not a bird's eye view. 
but it's a buff. And yeah, that was just that I remember doing that. That was annoying. But anyways, thanks for watching. Look forward to new videos. Peace.